So in this video, I want to talk about reciprocals. Now, reciprocal essentially means one over. So if you gave me a number, let's say x, then the reciprocal of x is 1 over x. Now the way that we identify that we want to uh, have the reciprocal of a number is with the index, okay, with the exponent. So the way that we identify that is through minus 1. So x to the minus 1 is taken to mean 1 over x. So if you want the reciprocal of 2, then that is 1 half. If you want the reciprocal of 5, then that is 1 fifth. Now you can also have the reciprocal of a fraction. So you could have 1 fifth to the minus 1, like that, and I would really need to put it in a bracket. because Now, the bracket here isn't being used uh, for order of operations reasons. It's really to say, right, I want to make sure that I'm putting all of that to the minus 1. Okay, So it's really kind of like going, right, just making sure it's clear that that minus 1 exponent is affecting the whole thing that's inside the bracket. So what does this mean? Well, this would be 1 over 1 fifth. Now, that, we know that um, dividing by 1 fifth is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. OK? So that's where we have used the reciprocal language before. So actually, we've got 1 divided by a fifth is the same as 1 times 5 over 1, which is 5. So the reciprocal of 1 fifth is 5, like the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth. So they revert, they inverse one another, essentially. So we can write that down as 5, or 5 over 1. Now, if you do that with uh, something like two-thirds, so two-thirds to the minus one, then it's doing the same thing. We're doing one over two-thirds. And we know that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So one divided by two-thirds is the same as one times three-halves, which is three-halves. So when you're finding the reciprocal of a fraction, essentially you're just flipping it upside down. 2 thirds to the minus 1 is 3 halves. So if you just have any old fraction, so let's say uh, 7 fifths, and you want to find the reciprocal of 7 fifths, easy, it's 5 sevenths. OK? So because um, from the reciprocal is and that minus 1 is the exponent, that gets grouped together uh, when you're dealing with powers and roots as part of orders of the order of operations.